What's up, everybody? It's Stop Moving. Speech. <laughs> Tune into On The Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. Currently on the radar, as you can see, we're talking about the Andy Cine A6 Plus monitor. Now, I'm really, really excited. Stop shaking. I'm really excited about this because I've been using Andy Cine's monitors for at least a year now. So I have the original one, the A6, and I really, really like this. I have two of these. I use these all the time. I'm currently using one, you know, to monitor my stuff. I always use these. I love them. They're great. All right, so it's a five and a half inch touchscreen. It does support 4K signal. It gives you three options to run batteries, which is huge. On one side, you have the LPN batteries. You can use the Sony batteries. Actually, the LPE6 are the Canon batteries. So you can use the Canon batteries on this side. You can use the Sony NPF batteries on this side. I haven't seen that on any other monitors. That's great because you have that flexibility. Also, you can use the DC output. It doesn't come with it, but I'll leave it in the description. I use that. I'm using one right now. That's the best for inside recording because I can plug it into the outlet, let it run all day, and I don't have to worry about the batteries dying. It's super, super convenient. So you have those three options. One of the other things I really, really like about it, it has the SD card reader so you can add pre-selected LUTs. It has three quarter 20 screws, so there's various ways that you can mount this monitor. It has one here one on this side and one at the bottom. So you can mount it to your camera in different ways. You can mount it to your rig in different ways. Very, very flexible, very, very cool. There is no speaker, but it does have the headphone jack. The screen function, for, as far as the touch screen, it allows you to swipe up to get the different functions. You swipe this way to change the, the, the brightness, swipe this way to change the volume. You tap twice to enter the, the panels, and then you can go into your other features. Very cool and very convenient. So for anybody who doesn't know, the touchscreen on the monitor is going to allow you to access the, the, the functions within the monitor. It's not going to allow you to actually access your camera functions. And, the funny thing is I was actually under that assumption, you know, with touch screens. I'm like, okay, it's, I need, doesn't do that. So I don't know if everybody knows that. I didn't know that. So it's just good that, you know, you should know that. This thing is great for DSLRs because it fits right on top of your camera. It's very light. It's very sleek. The monitor is bright. It's crisp. It's clear. And again, it does support 4K. But even a lot of times, as, as I said, I'm using one like on my camera rig so I can monitor and line myself up, make sure I'm in frame. And then if you see this, we can't see it soft camera. I actually keep a, um, a, a, a arm, a friction arm that's bolted to my table and I move it around so I can keep the monitor closer to me. So that segues into what another good feature about this is. This has the H HDMI in and HDMI out. The older version only had the HDMI in, so obviously you can get your, your picture input into the camera. But what you can do with the out is you can input your HDMI to, like let's say a laptop or, or a, a computer screen or another monitor. So I can have my monitor hooked up, like I said, that's connected to the camera. I can see myself, but then I can set up another one right here so that it's closer. Or if I'm monitoring myself in front of the camera, you can have another monitor set up that's all connected where the person behind the camera can see the same thing. So it allows you basically to connect other monitors to this one monitor so you can get two different viewing angles. That's incredible, that's great. And for somebody like me, that's huge. That's a huge, huge option. I really, really like that. Another one of the, the, the very good features about these monitors is you can use this to power up your camera also. So you, you would have to get a dummy battery, which I will leave a link in the description, and you have to get the external DC plug that I mentioned, also link in the description. You can use both of those to run through this monitor so you can power up the monitor and the camera at the same time. Now again, somebody like me who I do a lot of inside recording, it is incredibly, incredibly effective for me because I can link everything up and have it plugged into the wall and I don't have to worry about the battery from this unit running down. I don't have to worry about the battery from the camera running down. And you know if you do recording, that's stressful because these batteries, they, 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 go, they run out fast, it's hectic, you've got to worry about these two different things. I don't have to worry about that. 
super, super important for somebody like me. It has the, the sunshade, so you can see outside. It's very, very viewable outside. The touchscreen is very responsive. This one is currently at about $220. Now, that's great considering a lot of the other monitors that are quality, they run you into the 500 range and up, and they don't give you all these different options. Some of them don't have touch screens. You're not able to have the HDMI in and HDMI out. They don't give you the LUT import. They don't give you the ability to um, power your camera also. So you get all of the, and you don't get the different battery features. I use this particular mount from, from Andy Cine, and this thing is incredible. I think any product that you get with these guys, you should get this also, because this allows you to mount it and swivel and turn, and you know, it swivels. So if you're in front of the camera, you can see it. If you need to turn it around, it turns around, it bends, it rotates. It's super, super convenient. It's super important, and I have two of these. I use these, I love them. Link in the description also. So it's, it just makes it a lot more versatile. The mount bracket that they give you, it's real cool, but this is way better. It's a much better investment. Definitely look into that. So I just wanna run down real quick some of my pros and cons with these monitors. As I said, the three battery options is incredible. I love that, that's a big plus. The HDMI in and out, big plus. Um, this is thinner and sleeker than the older unit. It's just a lot less um, body to it. It just looks better. And the functions are huge to me. They changed the functions around. So all these different buttons and the whole menu process was really, really annoying to me. I just didn't like it as much as I didn't like these monitors. So this, you have the, the touch screen. I mean, the on and off for the, for, the, for the power. You have this swivel thing right here, this little button. It makes toggling through the system a lot easier, a lot quicker. And you also have the touch options. And you can actually turn the touch option off if you want to. So that's really, really convenient. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. Um, the ease of using the menu, like I said again, is, is way easier than the older one. Um, it's lighter, it's bright, and you can pinch the zoom in and out. So it doesn't give you, another thing I, I was hoping, so we're gonna get into the cons. One of the things I was hoping that you can touch to actually focus and keep your, your shots in the focus and it doesn't allow me to do that. I was really, really hoping that was the, the, the case. It doesn't allow you to do that, but it does help you frame and, and focus in a sense where you can zoom in and out and pinch it to zoom in and out and you get real, real clear up close shots. So that's cool because a lot of other touchscreen monitors, you can pinch it to zoom in and out, but it, you, you can't move it around so you can zoom into sp specific points. You know what I'm saying? So they don't give you that type of flexibility. So that at least is good. Another thing that I noticed versus the old A6, when you pop your battery in, you have this little um, piece right here. You have to kind of, where is it at? You kind of have to touch the button in the inside, this little button, and to release the battery. So when you do that, sometimes your hand will get caught and you kind of pinch your finger. I never really had that problem too much, but I hear a lot of people complain about it. But it's a lot more convenient because this one is right here. You just press the button and pull, you know, pull the battery out to release it. So it's just those little bit of things, those little slight adjustments sometimes that make a big difference. And I think that they heard a lot of people complaining with the old unit, so they made that little bit, that little switch. And you know, to me that shows things like that that they're paying attention to their consumers. So that's big. But as far as the cons, like I said, I wish I would be able to tap to focus and it doesn't allow you to do that. I'm not sure if any of the touchscreen monitors out there do those things, but these are things that I would just, I want in a touchscreen. If they can come up with that and have it more, you know, be able to access your camera, internal, you know, the internal controls, that'd be incredible. So with this one, the OA6, you would have to, in order to flip your screen around, you would have to just tap it twice once you set it. This one, you have to go into the menu and find it, so it makes it a little bit harder to access that, but if you get one of these vlogging um, mounts, it makes it easier to turn your thing around and swivel it, so it just makes it, I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about, I don't know if I explained that right, but for the people who use the old one, you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's just a menu thing. But other than that, 
there's no real cons other than those things that I mentioned. I really, really like this monitor. I'm really excited about it. I think you guys should check this out. If you want a very versatile, very high quality monitor, and you don't want to pay five, six hundred dollars for it, seven hundred dollars, this is right up your alley. I think it'll do just about everything you need it to do, and you'll be happy with it. One another thing I, I could say is a con. The unit itself, the casing is all plastic. For me, that's not a problem. It does not feel cheap, and it actually feels a little bit better and less bulkier than the original one. I don't have a problem with it. Um, but, you know, if it was metal, you could say to yourself, okay, it would feel stronger and sturdier in case you drop it, stuff like that. But you also have to take into account if it was a metal case, it would be heavier. And nobody wants a heavy uh, monitor sitting on top of their camera if they're vlogging and moving around and carrying this thing all day. If it's something where it's set up on top of your rig and it's a stationary rig, then you might not care a lot. But definitely, you want it as light as possible. So, and then you got to also think when you plug your battery into it, depending on the size of the battery, it's going to make it heavier. So you want your actual monitor to be as light as possible. So... All in all, I love this thing. I recommend it. It is definitely radar approved. I definitely recommend checking it out. Even if you check out the old ones also, but if you're in the market for a good quality monitor, definitely check out the A6 Plus. Top notch. Salute to Andy Cine. Um, That's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. It's great. I love it. Check it out. I really am a fan of Andy Cine, Andy Cine and their products. I have now... Um, three of their monitors. I have these, these vlogging mounts. I got a couple of other um, products that I can't think off the top of my head. I rock with them. Definitely check them out. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something else pops up on the radar. Hit me in the comment section with any questions, comments, whatever. Let's talk there. Salute.